Hi, my name is Packy, creator of Pack Rats Shack. I upcycle furniture, build out of pallet wood, finish interior spaces, and have a vendor booth for my creations. Welcome to my world. This is another project I was trying to finish before leaving Indiana, but I really didn't get as much done as I would have liked to have. This is how I go about building my birdhouses. Most are just thought up as I go along and never repeated. Really not even making measurements along the way, except for maybe centering it onto the base. You can see the large pile of scrap pallet wood I was intending to work all the way through. That didn't happen. <laughs> I did get several done. These birdhouses and this car are the things that I did get done with as far as the builds. I still had several more that I had started but not completed. 
some of which only needed the bird perch added or the holes drilled out. But others were just partially created and left completely undone. <laughs> One of my really good friends saw the ones that I had completed while mom was moving out and bought a few of them. So they never even made it to my booth. On all the trips that mom brought stuff down, eventually the rest of them made their way down here. I made a point to finish some of them before I made my trip to Indiana so that I could get them into my booth while I was up there. But I'm really so busy with the house projects being on all of the recording space that I didn't really make it a point to document this. I figured the previous footage showing my process tells most of the story. Then while I was up visiting at my daughter's house, I went ahead and painted some so there would be a variety to choose from, from a purchase standpoint. But I think they're all still in my booth, so I guess I just didn't hit the mark. <laughs> you win some, you lose some. I don't know. <laughs> but while I was there working on them, I was entertained by the cats. <laughs> I really do miss Pooh Bear and Popo and Ginger being around all of the time. <laughs> The bigger post I painted a real dark forest green, followed up by a layer of dry brushing brown and then further layering that by dry brushing a layer of white to lighten everything up. I thought this was an added depth and highlights to make it interesting. The smaller post was dry brushed in black followed by a heavier dry brushing in white to give it an overall lighter color with dark undertones. I left one of the smaller birdhouses natural and painted the other one brown with a layer of white. Looking at it now, I think it would look better if the white was more solid, with some distressed back edges being the only brown showing through. Oh well, I can't win them all, and really most of my paints are now down in Tennessee instead of up here where I need them. I'm really gonna have to figure out how to continue with some of my clients and be able to go back and forth until, yeah, until I'm completely settled in Tennessee. But anyway, I just wanted to share with you how I go about making my birdhouses out of pallet wood and how I try to use up all of my scrap pieces and have a very, very minimal amount of waste. I do have one design that follows a pattern through the building process, but even none of those are identical to each other, but they really are very similar and I had been selling them for $35 each. Now it's been a while since I've made them because I've been so busy on transitioning from Indiana to Tennessee. So I really would like to get back to building some of these and maybe even having them available for sale and ship out on my website. Let me know in the comments below if you think the style of my pallet wood birdhouses shown last in the pictures would be of interest for yourself or a gift idea for someone else. But wait, that's not all. I have another thing I want to update you with. Check this out. 
here we're well into August and I keep checking this area where I saw the turtle laying her eggs and I haven't seen the ground disturbed or any movement as if they've come up yet. So from the time that I saw her laying the eggs and then looked it up to see what the duration would be, it said about two months or so. So we're coming up to actually closer to the end of August. I thought it would happen by now. So I'll just keep checking on it and keep you posted. So today is kind of exciting. It's not exciting in the fact that I missed it, but it looks like there's evidence that we had the little baby turtles come out. See, here's the little hole. And this is the vicinity that they were in. Yeah, because when I came up on her, when I was seating, I kept the straw all the way out and around her, and the center point is right there. So, I may have missed the baby turtles coming out, but they've had to have come out. This is the first evidence I've seen that they hatched. I've been checking and checking and checking, and when we got near the end of August, I thought maybe something had happened to them because that would have been about the time frame. But it seems like they took a wee bit longer because we're in September and it's the 21st. Well, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the change of pace. And I just really needed to tie up this batch of loose ends and free up the storage space it was taking up. But thank you for watching. You know that I greatly appreciate your viewing support. And as always, until next time, stay safe out there.